Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. I've got a little experiment going right now with my solar kiln. I've always wondered what the internal temperature of a piece of wood is compared to the external piece and, and, and actually what the temperature of the wood is in relation to the, in, the internal temperature of the kiln. Uh, so I have this little experiment going. As always, I have my little Govi uh, thermometer hygrometers. Uh, I've got one inside the kiln and I've got one underneath the kiln so I can compare the outside temperature with the inside temperature. Uh, I've got a little laser thermometer here for doing the external temperature of the wood. And then I drilled a very small hole into the backside of a mantle. Uh, it's about six foot long, 12 inches wide, and about six inches thick. So I drilled into the middle of that and I've got an automotive fluke meter here. and uh, it's got a little temperature probe on it, so I'm going to poke that in there and record these temperatures throughout the day just to see what we come up with. I'm always curious uh, to see if uh, the kiln gets hot enough to do a bug kill, and I, I never really thought it was, but uh, we will find out today. Just about wrapping things up, uh, it's 5 o'clock, uh, maybe just a couple more readings to do. I'll keep uh, going until the internal temperature of the wood uh, equalizes and maybe starts to drop a little bit just to see how uh, how long that takes. Uh, but it got kind of cloudy, so eh, not a bad day. Uh, but I think uh, the internal temperature of the kiln got to 127. And um, yeah, I doubt we're going to hit 100 degrees on the internal part of the wood. Uh, no surprise there, it's six inches thick, uh, 12 inches in depth, so it's a pretty beefy piece of wood. Uh, but what I, I wasn't expecting was how long it took for the internal and external temperatures of the wood to equalize. And you can see at the results there, it was about 9 o'clock at night, uh, well after dark, and the fans had stopped running. So that's what I found unusual. And it kind of reinforces what I initially thought with my kiln, that you'd be better off using the solar panels to charge batteries. Uh, and then have your fans on a thermally controlled switch uh, so that you're taking advantage of that, that, that time after the sun goes down and your wood is up to temperature to keep the airflow going. I think I want to do it again tomorrow. Uh, so I got a piece of pecan here, or two pieces. One's about two and a quarter inches thick. The other one is about an inch and a quarter thick. So I'm going to do the same test tomorrow uh, with these. Uh, and see how the internal temperature does uh, with them. Uh, now getting on to the results of these other two pieces that I did. One was five quarter, one was nine quarter, and I'm going to put them up on the screen now. Uh, I'll do the outside temperature, the kiln temperature, the five quarter temperature, and the nine quarter temperature. And uh, I was surprised at uh, how quickly the internal temperature came up compared to yesterday's results. Uh, in comparison with that huge uh, mantle. I took the measurements all the way till about seven o'clock, so you can pause the video here uh, just to have a look at them uh, if you want to go through them. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please list them down below. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. And keep an eye out for another video coming out shortly of two years with my solar kiln and how it's kind of changed the way uh, I, I kind of look at sawing wood and drying it and using my solar kiln. So keep an eye out for that one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.